How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Cardinal Weed. Today is a very special Tiny Home Tuesday. It's because we have listened to your reviews, we have listened to your comments, and we've merged and birthed a new Tiny Home here today. We have, in the past, presented to you the Tumbleweed. It was the Tumbleweed with two porches. You guys love that exterior, you love the interior concept of that home and it was a hit with over 800,000 views as we speak on YouTube. While also presenting to you the Cardinal with the Loft. It was in a farmhouse style. You guys loved that as well. The Cardinal was a hit because it had a walk-in closet in a tiny home while also accommodating a loft. It was in a farmhouse style and everyone loved that. I think it's right at 500K as we speak in views. So what do we do? We notice that you like the Cardinal. We notice that you like the Tumbleweed. But what do we do today? We brought to you the Cardinal Weed. Basically, it is the Cardinal floor plan with the walk-in closet, but we chose the exterior and interior options of the Tumbleweed with two porches. It's the best of both worlds, and ooh, is this a world that you want to live in. So you can start right here in the interior of the home. The Basically, the measurements of this home as it's set up is a 15 wide. It's going to be 36 feet in length, and that's including the 10 foot front porch. And this home is on sale exactly as you see it for 75K. So you can get 75K and all this that you see inside and out will be yours. And starting right here in the interior space, the Cardinal floor plan showcases a great space for a couch. You can see right here that you got an abundance of space. I think we're around 90 to 95 inches that you're going to have from wall to the corner there so you can accommodate a full-size love seat or a couch. You can also do a sectional if you wanted to. Uh, you see that we've added the shiplap accent going down all the way up to the top. All of your trim is painted southern yellow pine. We painted it in white to give it that beautiful airy feel and then what else do we got here? We got the double picture windows with the single clear story window up top that is opening. So you can open that, ventilate the house if you need to, and then right across from that, what do we got here? We've got the fireplace entertainment center. So you got an entertainment center with the fireplace inside. This is LED fireplace. It actually puts off heat while also looking great at the same time. We went ahead with the black pedal tile going around the fireplace, adding a nice feature to the home and just catching the eye as soon as you walk into the living area, while also adding right here an accent in shiplap. We've actually painted the shiplap gale force blue. That matches the door and a few more accents in here that I'll show you in a second. But right there, you can put your TV and you're good to go. You can see we've also got the beautiful window up top, the prismatic window looking very large and in charge in this tumble cardinal, the cardinal weed, I should say, as you see it. And then down below, you've got right here the Gale Force blue door that's painted inside and outside to match your aesthetic appeal with the blinds and glass front door, bringing in more light. And then right here to the side, you can see that you also got the window as you can sit here and look in from the kitchen out onto your 10 foot front porch. And again, we're talking about accents. You can see the island right here. Gale Force Blue on the front. We've got the Calcutta Marble High Definition Laminate on the island and countertops. And then the side and front of the island is white, painted white shiplap. And you've got additional storage in the front. And we've also added 
bar handle pulls throughout the home. You can see that's a great feature. Just kind of upgrades the cabinet real quick like. All you gotta do is throw some bar pulls on there. It takes it up a notch. And you can see right here, that same black pedal tile that we use on the fireplace, we have in the kitchen. You can see that going from your countertop even above your cabinet. So you can see it's right there even with the cabinets and complements these open shelves. You can see these stained hickory open shelves right here. Great for decor, great for your, you know, you got your flour, your coffee. You can do all that right there. And then again, we're bringing in more light. We've got the clear story windows up top. And then don't let me forget the black Duffy ceiling fan. You got that as well. That is a great feature that ties everything in together. You see how these colors just work? We've got the black pedal tile backsplash, black Duffy ceiling fan. You see what we're doing there? We put things together for you. That way you don't have to think about it. You just call and say, Hey, Mr. Tiny, I love the cardinal weed just as it is. Send it to me and I'll send it your way, guys. And you see right here, we've got the stainless steel single basin farm sink with detachable sprayer. For those who didn't know, if you're subscribed like you should be, then you know that's how we do it here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And then right up above, we've got the stainless steel convection oven, smooth top, Stove right here in stainless steel, and then the side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice in the door. You know how we do it here. Full-size appliances and a tiny home. We want you to live tiny, but also live convenient. And that's what we're doing right here. And then you see, we've got the stained hickory bifold door that opens up to your pantry. A pantry in a tiny home. Great for storage space. So you've got that right there. You close that back up. Didn't I say stained hickory? I thought I did. So you see how we match and color coordinate around here. You come on back into your bathroom and you'll see we got the Nantucket white cabinets matching the cabinets from the kitchen with the bar pools, Calcutta marble HD laminate. And then right here in the shower, again, we kept the black pedal tile. So you see how we're accenting the home throughout. Everything's cohesive. Everything goes together front to back, inside and out. And then we've got the accent band going right here in the black tile as well. We've got your soap dishes over here in the corner, elevated roof, ceiling right here for my taller folks out there. Like I said, I'm 6'1", so you see you got a little bit of height there to move around. We chose not to do a shower door on here, just to show you different options. You can do a half wall with splash glass, which we've shown in other videos. You can do a full shower door that rolls right open for you, sliding uh, glass door, or you can choose no door, which some clients like to do, and you put your own beautiful curtain rod up there, and you knock it out the way, and you walk on through, and then you come right into the master, before I do so, let me say so myself, what I tell you earlier, it was hickory, hickory stained, and you come into the master bedroom, and you'll see right here, just as we had done in the tumbleweed model, with two porches that everybody loved the aesthetic of, We've done the same thing here in this master bedroom. You've got the shiplap wall accent. We've got the farmhouse lights on each side where you can put your nightstands right below. We've already got the plug-ins there, got the lights right below it. You just light that up and you're good to go. We've got your mini split AC and heat system. You're trying to stay energy efficient in a tiny home. This is where you're gonna do so. This will heat or cool you out of here. I can tell you that right now. And then right behind it, you have your clear story window, or should I say exit, if it came down to it. You got that right there. But this is what everybody comes for, right? Here, you got the walk-in closet, and right here is your space for your stackable washing machine and dryer, tucked out of sight, out of mind. Oh. Don't want to hear the laundry, close it off. And then you come right back and you got the walk-in closet. Remember, this is 399 square feet, tiny home. You forget it's a tiny home with all this pizzazz that I'm showing you today. You see right here, we've got the painted white, real wood shelves right here, guys. I have to hit it because a lot of people out there are faking it. I understand, fake it till you make it. Well, actually I don't, cause we don't do that here at Recreational Resort Cottage. We give you real deal, holy field wood up in here. So you got the real wood shelves and rods, transom window, just in case you wanna look out at your neighbors, you know, hide in the closet, you kinda look out, make sure everything's okay. You got that space to do so. And then you come on back through and you're like, man, 
I don't know what to do with all this space in my tiny home because I got a walk-in closet. I know people got regular size houses that don't have a walk-in closet, but, but you know, sips tea. And then we go around here and you see as well, what do we do? Stained hickory handrail right here as well. We got the rebar. If you look right here, we that is a feature that just adds the industrial aesthetic to this home. But again, what did I tell you? In videos in the past, we stain this because you're gonna have everybody just putting their fingers on everything because they all wanna go up to the loft, have a good time. What does that do? The oils from your fingers track behind on these rails. So we stain it, that way you can mark it up and you don't even notice, it's good to go. While also staining these stairs, that's a feature we do it because if you scuff it up, it blends in. You don't even see it too much. And then below for those who don't know, you got right here, your built-in drawers and your stairs. I mean, what else do you want? Did I hear you say something? A lot? Let's go up and take a look at it. Y'all follow me up? And let's see what, show you what we working with. Now we're in the loft of the Cardinal Weed. And as you can see right here, this is everything you need. You've got space over here. You got this bump out right here to the side that's kind of rounded and arched here because you can just boop, put in a little mattress right here and you're out of sight, out of mind, tucked over here around the corner from everybody downstairs. And then up here as well, you see we added the two trapezoid windows there in the back, adding some natural light up here in the loft, but also adding the curb appeal from the back side of this home. So even when you walk past it, it's still looking good. And then you see right here on each side, we've got clear story windows. We've got single one on this side, doubles on the other, and also including the farmhouse lights on each side as well. So that is great setup. You've got TV jacks on both sides. So whichever side you would like to put your TV on, you can do so. And look at all this space. Matter of fact, go ahead and pan down to the main area of the home so they can see everything that the Cardinal Weed has to offer. You see how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, don't you want to be in here right now? Just go ahead and, you know, go to the bank and ask for that 75K. And you know, it's gonna be worth every penny when you're living in this right here. When people think of a tiny home, I guarantee you, they don't think about what we're doing here at Recreational Resort Cottages and what Mr. Tiny is providing for you. And you can blow everybody's mind with the Cardinal Weed. Again, the measurements of this home is 15 feet wide. It is 36 feet in length, including that 10 foot front porch that you'll see in pictures. It is great because it has the craftsman style porch post you got the black iron railing going throughout. You have clear story windows in the porch. In the porch, guys, great features. And this outside has cedar trim as well and cedar shutters. So that is going to blow your mind when people pull up to this. But again, guys, this home is like no other. We merged the two together. The tumbleweed that you love so much and the cardinal floor plan that you love so much had a baby and we got the cardinal weed today for 75K. And I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Remember to comment, like, subscribe to the videos. Let me know how I'm doing. If you want us to make another baby with these tiny homes, let me know which ones you want to merge together. And we'll see if we can make it happen for you. Remember, also, follow me on Instagram at the Mr. Tiny at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling them right off my Instagram, guys. You hit me up on there day or night, and I love to assist you. And I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday, and I will see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.